Today we will be installing the ZAP 825B jack shaft operator with the 800 Series 3 control box and an EMX Raven microwave motion sensor. The tools needed will be an impact driver, socket wrench, monkey wrench, drill, pliers, a pencil or marker, and a screwdriver. The first step is mounting the operator. Slide the operator onto the jack shaft and slide it close to the garage door track. Then bolt on the mounting bracket to the side of the operator. This will then be bolted to the garage door track bracket. Once finger tight, make sure the bracket is completely secured with a socket wrench. At this point, the operator can be fully tightened down onto the jack shaft. Now we can mount the release cable and manual release lever. This cable puts tension on the operator belt allowing it to open and close the door. Mount the release cable to the door track using track bolts. Their low profile will stay out of the way of the door rollers. Make sure these are nice and tight. Then attach the manual release lever below the wire again with track bolts. This will be under constant tension so make sure it is secure. A monkey wrench or pliers may be needed to help tighten the bolt at the top. Then hook the cable onto the release lever and flip it down. We can now begin wiring the control box. To access the circuit board, just unscrew the four screws on the lid. This is done with a flathead screwdriver. Once open, we can start by wiring the power cable. Push the exposed wires through the holes in the bottom of the box. Take the ground wire and put it into the plug labeled ground. Any of the three openings will work. Tighten it down and make sure no wire is exposed. Then take the black and white wires. These will go into the main power plug. The black wire will go with the live opening on the main supply and the white wire will go on the opening labeled N. Tighten these down and plug it back in. Next we will install the operator motor cable. This will go into the plug labeled DC motor. The blue wire will go into the opening labeled M1 and the yellow wire will go into the one labeled M2. Depending on which side of the door the operator is mounted, these wires may alternate. Once tightened, plug this back in and you're good to go. Now we can mount and power the control box. This should be mounted beside the garage door and under the operator. 
Be sure to mount this to a stud or solid surface for a secure fit. Once it's properly secured, the power can be plugged into the motor and the control box plugged into a power outlet. A master reset will allow the control box to calibrate the garage door. Using the instructions on the inside of the box, we will first press the reset button and then the red program button. After a moment, release the reset button and hold the program button until a second green light appears and flashes. You can now hit the up arrow button. Allow the garage door to open fully and wait for the motor to stop. Then press the down arrow button and allow the door to fully close. It's normal for the first time to be slow. Repeat the open and close process once more and the control box will be all set up. We can now install the EMX Raven. This motion sensor can detect people and vehicles and will open the garage door when either one approaches. Step one is marking where the Raven will go. Find a spot on the outside of the door and mark the mounting holes. Then, pre-drill the holes. Attach the mounting base with the supplied screws. Now you can clip the Raven into the base. It has a ratcheting pivot so you can position it perfectly. Slide the included washer between the base and sensor on both sides and then put the bolt through. Once the sensor is in the right position, you can fasten everything down with the nut. The wire can be hidden along the garage door frame and fed through the corner of the door seal. This wire can be anchored down with the cable staples found at any hardware store. To wire the sensor to the control box, feed it through the bottom. You will not be needing the pink or gray wire, only the brown and green and yellow and white. The brown and green wires will go in the plug for power. The brown wire goes in the opening labeled 24 volts and the green wire goes in the 0 volt opening. The yellow and white wires will go into the plug wired to the up and down buttons. The white wire will go in the same opening as the orange wire which is connected to the up button. The yellow wire will go in the opening with the black wire which is connected to all three buttons.
Plug it back in, and now we can program the EMX Raven. For human presence, press the button with the open lock. Then press the button that says PER. Set the sensitivity with the number pad. The light will flash the same number as sensitivity that you pressed. After that, you press the lock button. Now, when a person is walking up to the door, it will detect them and open. For a vehicle, it is much the same. Press the unlock button, but this time hit the button that says OCAR. Input a sensitivity level and then hit the lock button twice. If you want to set a security code, press the unlock button, then press the lock button. The sensor will flash and you can enter a four digit passcode. Once it is set, you'll have to enter that passcode next time you want to change settings. If you want to perform a factory reset, just hold down the two buttons on the faceplate of the sensor. After about five seconds, the red and green light will flash back and forth. Once it goes a solid green, the sensor is reset. Thank you for watching this video from NorthshoreCommercialDoor.com. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make content like this. Thank you.